Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. So, the course Accreditation and Outcome Based Education. Now, we have come to the week number 7. So, for week 7, tomorrow is the last date. So, lately I have completed this assignment. So, according to my knowledge, I have... You, I have uh, ticked the answers as per my knowledge. I have read all the course instruction material what they have provided. So based on that material only I have uh, chosen the answers. So please go through that. So for the first question I have chosen C and for the second so that explains each topic fits into the course as a whole. For the question number two according to the enthusiasm the teaching behaviors gesture with hands and arms and uh, next option i have selected as maintains eye contact with the other students and coming to the third one which of the following is the criterion for uh, uh, teacher effective teacher effectiveness research for this uh, student learning and uh, student motivation uh, for further learning i have selected Coming to the fourth one, in the course instruction material, they have provided uh, the ranking as already. That is 3, 2, 1, 4. The first one is the clarity and second one is the perceived outcome of instruction. Third one, is they have given uh, interaction of encouraging questions in the class. And last one, stimulation of interest in course subject. So, I have chosen C as the answer for this. And next, maximum achievement of the student learning takes place whenever the ETP extent of uh, extent of use of teaching practices is high and as well as the TPI stands for uh, teaching practices inventory. They both are interrelated. One maximizes the other. So that's why the use of uh, teaching practices inventory is 100%. Then we can say student learning place is also very high. So for this, I have selected the answer as B. Now coming to the question number 6, he has given here bars, bars here like uh, teacher P, teacher Q, teacher R like this. So ETP scores are given here in the form of the bars. What this the question is, identify most effective teacher uh, from the ETP scores. So here see we have to remember one thing that is whenever the teacher is having high ETP scores, then he can considered or often regarded as the effective teacher, right? So for this teacher R having the highest ETP score, so most effective teacher is teacher R. So that's why I have selected teacher R. Now coming to the next one, here in this figure only they are saying, they are saying that uh, teacher S is having the low ETP score, so he has to improve the quality. So teacher S having the low quality. The same thing they are saying in the seventh question. Which of, which of the following can be done by the teacher S to improve the teaching quality? Learn from peers who have higher ETP scores. This is the correct answer. Okay, next coming to the which um, eighth question, which one of the high inference behavior is most important as per the present reported study to maximize the student achievement? This for this the answer is clarity. And next, the goal for objectively evaluating undergraduate teaching to encourage good teaching only and research and consultancy comes under the second place. The first place is only for good teaching. So I have selected good teaching as the correct option for this. Next, coming to the 10th one, which, of, which one of the following uh, statements are related in teaching practice inventory TPI? So for this, uh, we have to provide the course information to the students. So that's why I have selected the last one. So these are the answers for the week 7 assignment according to my knowledge i have read all the course material and uh, after reading that i have uh, put these answers so i wish you all success and all the best thank you if at all anybody until now not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and watch all my videos thank you